Hi everyone, <clears throat> me again in sunny Smyrna, Georgia. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry I don't mean to be coughing into the microphone, but that's just the nature of the beast. I am uh, quite phlegmy today. Uh, I know some of you know what I'm talking about. Uh, everything's fine, then all of a sudden a big hunk of phlegm attacks you, tries to subdue you. But so far I'm winning. Anyway, I thought I'd show you a picture. <clears throat> Actually, you've seen the picture. It's in the uh, thumbnail at the beginning of this. Yes, that is an x-ray taken of my head about oh, six weeks ago. If you look real close, you can see all the extensive dental work that's been done and the missing teeth. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> that phlegm's trying to get me again. I have had a lifelong battle with my teeth. I think conservatively over my 67 years, I have had $200,000 worth of dental work. I wouldn't, I mean, I don't doubt that. I haven't added it all up, but considering how much I spent on visits to the dentist over all my years and how much I paid them, uh, I don't think that's unreasonable. It could be that. Maybe it's only 100000 but I know it's got to be more than that. Somewhere in between, let's say. But uh, uh, I had, I don't know the exact count. I think I had 15 caps. I've had at least 11 root canals. And uh, the problem is, um, whereas that saved me a lot of pain and, and allowed me to keep my teeth as long as possible, when you get a root canal, they remove the root and it kills the tooth. And over time, the teeth will get brittle. Now, they don't have the strength of a living tooth. And uh, so uh, over time, the, uh, due to decay, that would get under the caps and uh, where it's really difficult to get to and other things, I started breaking teeth. And uh, I had a dentist up in the Stanfield area. And uh, they've changed hands a couple of times. And so I don't really hold any allegiance to them. They're not nobody there that I know anymore. They just have my dental records. Um, so I found a really nice dentist here in Smyrna. One, uh, uh, I broke a tooth. One, uh, excuse me, I had a tooth that had been broken for a while, <clears throat> but I always assumed it was a root canal because there was no pain associated with it. So I wasn't going to do anything about it. I was just going to wait, and, you know, get some stuff done all at one time. And <clears throat> woke up one day and it was hurting pretty bad. Well, I went to the, my tried and true uh, Ambasol and Aleve, and that took care of the pain for the day. I woke up the next day and it wasn't hurting. But in the meantime, I made a, I got on the internet and I found this really nice couple that small dental practice not far from the house. I uh, went and talked, went and went over there to see them, and I showed, told them what my problem was. And she looked around in there and she said, "You know, this is going to happen quite a bit." And I said, "Yeah, I know. I've I've broken several teeth in the last uh, the last two years. I'm, you know, I just keep breaking. Ahead. I already had a few removed." by my old dentist uh, that had given that had broken and been problems and she said well you know <clears throat> I think it's time to consider doing some really extensive dental work and uh, she gave me some quotes and some ideas on things and considering my pocketbook and what I could afford and what I couldn't afford we decided on uh, dentures full set so <clears throat> six weeks ago about she, we began the process of pulling the remaining teeth had some molds made, had some dentures made, and uh, about two, a little over two weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago, Tuesday, last, uh, yesterday, we, she pulled all the rest of the teeth and I got my dentures. And uh, when you first get them, it is a, it's a real, uh, it's a real process. Um, you know, your gums are swollen and hurt, and you really can't, <clears throat> they don't, your, your dentures aren't gonna fit well you, you, you put them in, you can't take them out because if you do, the gums swell and you can't get them back in. <clears throat> so for over a week and a half, I had them in there. I had to take some pain, a lot of pain meds and keep things going the right way. But um, eventually, like I've got to this point now where I don't have any pain, but I'm still not really able to use them. <clears throat> they, have to, they have to be aligned. And uh, right now, they just don't meet up very well because of the uneven swelling up and down but I'm <clears throat> really uh, looking forward to being able to eat solid food again it's kind of tough being here in the holiday season and I'm 
sticking to instant breakfast and soup and uh, pudding and applesauce and all the good stuff you don't have to chew that you can just swallow it. But uh, it's been a real uh, <clears throat> been a real adventure. I'm very familiar with root canals and caps and getting teeth pulled and filled, but never on this scale and never never having a <clears throat> set of dentures. Hopefully you can understand me okay. I'm having a little trouble with my S's. I think I, instead of Sam Smith, I think I'm going to ch change my name to Tom Thompson because I can say that pretty well. But uh, anyway, uh, I know this might be kind of weird for you, but I uh, just thought I'd tell you about it. It's uh, consumed my life for the last six weeks, and hopefully I'm going to be able to uh, be able to enjoy some real food here again in another week, another few weeks. Like I said, got to some adjusting to do. Uh, might have to go back to the lab <coughs> for a day or so to get them finally finished up. They look real good. And uh, my wife says, uh, it's going to be real unusual. You having perfect teeth. And I'm going, yeah, and you can see them anytime you want. I'll just take them out and you can carry them around with you if you want to. But I'm still working on my Gabby Hayes impression. Don't know whether I will uh, <coughs> throw you with that or not. Maybe Walter Brennan. But I'm not really good at it yet, so I don't know if I want to really try it. And I really have to take them out to really do a, do a good job of it. But you, you know what I'm talking about. Now, you old guys know who I'm talking about. Lord knows they don't have any new new people in Hollywood that don't have any to that that, that that are take them out for a role. But anyway, on that note, uh, I hope everybody is enjoying their holiday meals. Uh, I'm not, so you get to enjoy them vicariously for me. Uh, we're actually cooking a turkey right now that I won't get to eat. And, uh, but we'll have some mashed potatoes and stuff like that. And I'll be able to uh, partake of them. On the plus side, I'm staying very svelte, down to my fighting weight, about 180 pounds. Not bad for six, almost 6'3". Six uh, they'll be calling me Beanpole again for in no time. My old high school nickname. All right, everybody. Well, I hope everybody is having a great day. <clears throat> Remember to brush and floss your teeth <clears throat> as often as possible. Not that it would have saved me, but might save you. Uh, but anyway, have a great day and uh, chew it if you got them. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.